body. And I thought, well, man, if I could get across these streets and not get hit by a car and not knock over too many people, then surely I could get across something much smaller like a canvas. When I'm painting, I, I'm, I'm, I'm able to understand the world, I'm able to visualize the world. Whenever I touch something, whenever I'm, I'm using my hands, I visualize it, you know, and it becomes real to me. And over the years, it's gotten better and better. Um, but it's, um, but now that whenever I do a painting, it needs to feel like that. You know, it can't just look like it, but it needs to have that, you know, and that's where the color comes in, I think. You know, it needs, it needs to look like it, like, you know, the, the, the lines are like the bones of a painting, but then the color is the soul, you know, it's really putting in what it feels like. Eagle is such a sweetheart. Um, this is the reason why this is called the Yellow Dog. I, I didn't really want this gallery to be all, all about me. I want it to be for, for, for everybody that wants to be creative to come in and make it their space because I feel like I feel like a creative space like, like this in Denton, it should be, you know, if, if it was my space until I opened the doors on the first day and then it became everybody's space. Mm -hmm. And everybody that comes in here, they, they, they make this place what it is. And my goal um, with this place is that I started painting to connect with people because I, I was very depressed, very angry. Being here, I feel more connected with my community than I ever have. And it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's a really good feeling. But every, every, every week, we, 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 have, we have three events that are, that are just every week. We, we do a jam, a jam session. And then on the, on, the, on, the, on the spoken word night, it's the only spoken word night, I think, that's a weekly, a weekly thing here. What's he building in there? What the hell is he building We made a vow. Every Tuesday, we're going to do it, no matter what. But we're, we're very committed. We, we want to have space. And it's not just poetry, but it's stories. It, it's, 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 sometimes people will just get up and they'll share a story from their life, a memory. Um, but it's just this really... I don't, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's so supportive. On Wednesdays we have an open mic, and it is just incredible because music in Denton, again, is, is incredible. So you get all these people that are in bands, a lot of them, and they just want more, more solo time, or they just want to hang out with other musicians. There's people that, that just want to make their music better, and they're really serious about it. And, but, even though you get these people that are very passionate about their art, they are so warm and welcoming. And if anybody needs a little bit of help, anybody needs like you know some um, some support, encouragement, um, you know, it's not like this competitive sort of thing. It's more like everybody rises together sort of feeling. The whole reason that we have the bar and the art bar is that the refreshments, which is, we're trying to be non half non-alcoholic, half alcoholic, that 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 pays for the art space. So instead of having to worry about grants or, or if art sells, we have the refreshments pay, pay for the art space, and that gives an area for artists to just come and create and be free and be able to make what they want. And it gives us the freedom to be able to bring in artists that, we, that we're inspired by, and we're not looking if we think that they can sell the paintings or not. It's just if we think they have an important message, we love their art, then, then, then we, we can show them and we can promote them. I want this to be a place where it's here for so long that people forget it wasn't here. You know, and it's a place where if people come into Denton, they'll say, you know, there's lots of places to go to for art, but one place that you should go to is go to the Yellow Dog, not only for the art here, but also to learn about other art that's happening all over Denton. And art is just happens to be a wonderful way to deal with a bad day. So if you're having a bad day, it's a great way to deal with it, but if you're having a good day, it's a great way to celebrate it.